What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to do Revenant Slayers. So I don't think that I need to show you guys how to do tier 1 and 2 because it literally just does 25 damage per second and doesn't really have that much HP. So let's just start with tier 3 I guess because why not. So the setup that you want to use is really it doesn't matter what you're going to use because it does like no damage so i just put on some werewolf armor which is even half necrotic yeah and just go ahead right down here so let's just start i've already uh, killed some but i've decided to switch the lobbies to a private lobby because otherwise it's just going to be very annoying with other people killing all those Revenants and as you can see it got one hit the miniverse and let's just use our ability and then go ahead and start hitting it as you can see we are taking zero damage and it died okay nice so f for doing a tier force you can just let everything the way it is if you have a bit better armor you should use that because it's going to take a bit long killing it otherwise because it has uh, 1.5 million HP. So let me just turn off Auto Slayer. Yeah, 400 damage per second and 1.5 million damage. So I'm just going to use the Flaw of Truth for this. But I think it has Sharp. No, it even has Smite. Okay, nice. And these two pieces of werewolf leggings are on necrotic. That's why I'm going to switch them out for two pieces of uh, crimson. Just so we do a bit more damage. But it doesn't really matter. You can also use the other one. But if you decide to grind um, tier 4s for whatever reason. You should be using the things that let you deal the most damage. I think I should uh, be dealing a bit of... Uh, 100,000 damage. Yeah. So, the pet doesn't matter. You can use a lion, which gives more first hit damage, but it isn't that good. I mean, you can use a tiger, but I don't think that you will have a tiger pet. Or just your standard enderman pet, a bit more crit damage. But I'm just going to use the wolf so we can spawn the boss a bit faster. Also the ability is uh, really useful, because you can kill multiple at once. The mini bosses aren't really a big deal, you should be easily able to kill those. Yeah. Also I think you can use a bow on tier force, but I'm not sure. Yeah, so it just got one hit, nice. Tier force are really really easy. And I think one more mini and then it should spawn, I guess. Takes kind of long to spawn to be honest, but doesn't really matter. Let's just spawn it right here. Okay, it spawned and just start to hit it. And as you can see, I'm taking zero damage and the thing is going to be dead. And it even dropped Fall Flash, nice. I think that's even profit, I don't know. Yeah, so this is really easy, but the tier 5s are a bit more difficult. So what you're going to do for tier 5 is that you want to use the Reaper armor. Reaper armor. Or you can use your uh, Necron. Oh wait. You can also use your Necron if you have that one. But Reaper is a bit cheaper, I think, I'm not too sure. And it should be way easier because as you can see, it gives a bunch of defense against the uh, mobs. And when you sneak, you gain 100 speed, 100 damage and 100 uh, strength for 6 seconds. And if you're using the full set you want will heal 50% more, you will get 100 um, 
what's called 100 defense against zombies and you will deal 100% more damage to them. But you will deal 1% damage to everything else. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the full set is only shoes, leggings and chest plate. Yeah, so there's no, uh, there's no helmet. You can use anything you want. I guess you can even use a warden helmet if you have one. But I think I'm just going to use this set right here. You can maybe get away with crimson, but I think uh, you need um, good crimson because otherwise you won't have enough HP. And this time your pet actually matters because you need a shamet. So I personally have a shamet on my blue way, but any pet with a shamet should be good. If you want you can use a defense pet and if you don't have one you can just go ahead and... Um, of course use a damage pad, but you want a shaman on it. And lastly for your weapon, I guess you don't have Axe of the Shredded. Um, so you can just use the, um, what's it called? Reaper fashion, I guess? If I'm not mistaken. Wait, let me just check. Axe of the Shredded. Yeah, you can use a, a Reaper fashion. It will deal. Less damage, but it should be still good enough. Receive 20% less damage from zombies when hit. Heal at 10 HP per hit. Yeah, I mean, this is like a big upgrade, but of course you won't have it. You can also use your giant sword, I guess, if you have one. Livid dagger, maybe, shadow fury, I don't really know. But you just want something that deals very high damage, and you want to put smite on it, and no sharpness. Or you can maybe also use a Reaper Scythe, it gives high base damage, but this is like a bad giant sword. So yeah, let me just get, use this one because I already, already have this one and I don't have any money. <laughs> I have also sharpness on this and no um, smite, so I will be dealing a bit less damage. And I'm just using my Trencher helmet, and I could use a Warden, but let's just go with Trencher now, so it's a bit more reasonable. <laughs> Your Talismans, just put them on the thing that gives you uh, the most damage. And if you still got your Ragnarok Axe, you can use it before the boss spawns. And it should be very high DPS. You guys uh, can tell me if I have missed anything that maybe any weapon or any life hack that you can use to make it easier but yeah any high dps weapon should be enough i'm just doing the axe of the shredded like i said 10,000 times so nobody starts writing in the comments but how do i get an axe of the shredded if i haven't done this layer yet so yeah just use the thing that lets you deal the most damage and for spawning, you can use a Flower of Truth or anything that deals like AoE. I'm just gonna use a Soul Whip because of the arc. So it's a bit faster. And yeah. Is the Slayer even worth doing? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I think Warden Hearts shot up in price because you can't uh, trade them anymore. Um, uh, you can't do any slayer trading. Yeah, as you can see, 140 million coins, and the helmet is at 173 million. So I bought mine when it was like a bit over 100 million, because back then you could trade them. And what's a blue damage thing? I don't know. So yeah, let's just spawn it real quick. Wait, I think this should be. Yes, this is already it. So. Now it cast it, and then you don't want to get hit by the TNT because the TNT is gonna kill you really, really fast. And that's why we are also using anti KB. Shamit, don't use hex. What? Where did it go? How? Huh? How is it hitting me? Where even is it? Bro, I'm going to start a new one. Okay, I spawned another one, and I forgot to use the Ragnarok Axe, but doesn't really matter. 
So yeah, I'm just gonna run in a circle hitting it. And you never want to get hit by a TNT, else it will deal really, really big damage. And try not to lag. And maybe also get something for healing if you do get it. Because this TNT is OP. And when it has only 3 million HP left, it's gonna start... Um, yeah. Okay. It's gonna start to get enraged and deal more damage. And when he starts doing that phase... Uh, Get your Swap out, I guess. You can just like do this to Swap swap or just use the Swap. So yeah, you can still damage it in that phase. Or you can stand next to him, but when he's gonna do the lightning, you will be dead. And I hope you've enjoyed this little video, which was very buggy, but I think you've still got the point. And let me know in the comments if you want a tutorial how to do B tier 1 and 2 if you want, really want to see that guys and I'm hoping to catch you in the next one. Like and subscribe.